Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike Sunny Slope. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I just got home from work. We're going down to uh, check on Bonnie and Clyde to see how they're doing. For those who are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You'd know about uh, how we had to move these two little boogers down here because uh, they kept on getting beat up by the other goats. Sorry, I'm trying not to fall on these rocks. This stuff right here is just extremely slick especially since my boy has just been tearing it up with the four wheeler lately oh he is kicking rocks everywhere so everything's like walking on marbles here let's go in here and see how things are going what's going on you guys doing okay huh oh you guys liking that new hay feeder huh you liking that new feeder yeah so we wind up installing this little hay rack system and uh because we really need them to get something down here to graze on oh, we just gotta keep on pushing it down but we set up a little something on the other side for them that i thought they would really appreciate oh yeah i forgot before i show you this little setup we got ourselves a little addition that our neighbors caught at the fair during the i think they call it a kid scramble basically what they do is they let a bunch of animals loose and then they get a bunch of kids online and they let the kids go and you get to keep what you catch so here's the chicken they brought and i don't know what kind of chicken it is but they brought it over to us to take care of and i forgot its name already but here it is tell me what kind of chicken this is i thought this was a meat bird when they first brought it over but it's and i thought it was probably sick because it's comb and it's feet are completely like white like albino and that tail or that the feathers in the back i don't know this thing's too pretty to be a meat bird i think i'm not sure what it is but it's got some funky feet his toes are all jacked up turned sideways i'm not sure what it is but it's a uh, it's pretty good looking bird it sure does stick out though so tell me what you guys think that is because uh, it just looks like an albino chicken to me. Oh, check out our sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sweet potatoes are growing in the compo uh, compost bin. Not like we're going to be able to harvest those things. But, what, you running up on me, girl? Huh? She seems like a pretty nice chicken. Bonnie, how you doing? You guys liking it? Yeah? Yeah? You guys liking your new little digs? Get yourself a little bit of water. Oh, man. Get a drink, Clyde. Get a drink. So, here's their little setup. Now, it's not much. Like I said, I still have to bring um, <clears throat> their little awning down here. But the other goats really like using it. So, I just kind of kept it up there for now. But we do plan on bringing it down. Boy, the flies are bad this year. But uh, yeah, there's a little setup. They got a little rain fly. They got a little place to get in. And they also, uh, they come in here and they sleep and stuff. But we actually got a broody hen right now sitting in a box because we're going to hatch some eggs. Our chickens have been getting decimated by predators. So it's time to uh, get some new chicks in order. But man, let me tell you what happened over the weekend. We were putting this, this uh, thing up. And this, uh, this piece of wood was laying on the ground and I had put myself, or I had put my hand, should I say, in a big pile of squishy mess. You can only imagine what that possibly could be in this chicken coop. But I went to go wipe my finger off on this board right here and there was a screw hanging up and my finger was just covered and I went like this and boom, look at that. I don't know if this will focus, but look at that. Uh, it's pretty healed up now a little bit, but I just scraped that. I scraped that thing wide open. I'm surprised I didn't get an infection. Why do you keep following me? Why do you keep following me? Let's see if we can sneak up on these goats eating. What you doing, Bonnie? What you doing, Bonnie? Clyde, what's up, bud? You guys are really liking it down here, aren't you? Yeah. You guys still faint? You guys still faint? No? Yeah, maybe. A little bit. A little bit. 
<laughs> okay, I'll stop stressing you out. God knows they have enough stress. Uh, let's check out this broody hen. Maybe she's still in the box. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's still in the box. Oh, boy. Oh, get this picked up. Oh, we got an egg down here. Uh, who knows how long those have been sitting here, so we just... We bust them and give them to the chickens. They go after it. Ugh. Cannibalism. You guys are just despicable. You guys are real classy, I'll tell you what. You guys are keeping the coop real classy there. Oh yeah. What's going on, girl? Can't check on your egg? Ouch! Ouch! What'd you do that for? Jeez Louise, can I check on those eggs? Ow, come on, ouch, come on, come on, oh, come on, come on, Ow. hey, ouch, oh, okay, okay, chillax, you can keep those eggs, jeez Louise, you guys, get these, uh, this broody girl under control for crying out loud, she is just a spaz, yeah, you are, the goats, chickens, they're all living, Copacetically, that's a word. I think it is. I'm gonna care. I'm gonna use it. If not, I'm gonna claim it. And um, they're doing really good down here. Yeah. So in the nutshell, I think they're doing pretty good. I can't really say that they're hating it down here. I mean, they have each other to hang with. Um, they have a, their own big area. It's a pretty large area, I think. Uh, there's not as many like cool little toys and adventurous things to go up and down through but we might make them something here i'll get some pallets or something give them something to climb on but they uh they like they like it down here i think i'll tell you what they definitely definitely don't miss are those three butt heads up there constantly ramming them and harassing them all the time uh because compared to up there this is like paradise so if it's a little boring down here they're not getting beat up at least uh I got a little bit of maintenance to do in here now that I think about it. Looking at everything, probably probably do to get some sticks picked up and a good raking. What do you guys think? Yeah, uh, yeah, you guys don't say much. You guys don't care. But oh man, flies have just been totally horrible this year. We even put out this uh, little fly trap down here, and we took the hoop house uh, uh, tarp off. So all this poo can dry up and get all this stuff to go away because flies have been absolutely unbearable, unbearable. I, I can't, I mean, up by the house, everywhere, can't stand it this year. And I've tried everything. I even got a bug zapper running 24 seven right now trying to kill flies. So we're gonna be doing this uh, cricket eat disgusting challenge i don't know it's not a challenge we bought those crickets when we went down to the candy shop and we really been wanting to try them out so i'm just kicking these rocks off real quick before i roll an ankle but my son he got braces just the other day his mouth is killing him his mouth is just absolutely killing him he can't eat nothing and the things i've eaten them in asia crickets that is and they're actually really they're actually really good. I'm not really scared to do this uh, little challenge thing because they're fairly delicious, but they, uh, they're just like popcorn. And it was like one of the things they said that he should stay away from first week is popcorn. But so we'll see how he's doing with that. Plus he's got the poison ivy he's dealing with. Oh, who knew if you run over poison ivy on the trail, on your four wheeler, you would still catch it. Yes. Wearing shorts. I know he shouldn't have been wearing shorts riding four-wheeler, but it's like 100 degrees outside. And you should always dress for the for the slide and not for the ride. That's a motorcycle thing. But, um, yeah, he got poison ivy all inside of his thighs. He's actually at the doctor now getting whatever they're going to do for him because it's really bad. So he had his first day of school today, and he went to school with his mouth, mouth hurting from braces and completely covered in poison ivy in between his legs 
and I don't know if he's gonna be going back tomorrow because it's really bad. We took him to doctor day and we'll see where it goes from there. But I think he got it by, uh, what is it? He was driving through the poison ivy, beating it down and just beating it down. And then I think that poison ivy was mixing in the dirt with the oils and stuff were mixing in the dirt. And he was, it's really dry. So it became a dust and that poison ivy dust flew up underneath the fenders in between his legs so you can imagine what he's going through right now uh we'll see uh we'll see what he looks like when he gets home <laughs> and see how bad it really is and how his first day of school went but that poor kid he just oh, well i just feel for him because you know how it is and me getting poison ivy so we'll see what he does when he gets home so how, how was your first day of school Great, it's so lovely. Yeah, it's uh, not looking good, is it? Mm -mm. How's that mouth of yours? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't hurt as bad as it did yesterday. No. Well, you got your shot. You're just going through a whole bunch of hell right now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, how was school today? Good. At least. It was always oh, good because the shot didn't make this stuff leak anywhere. Yeah. So, so itchy though. So you just gotta let it dry up now. Mm -hmm. Well, mom should have your cream tonight. Yeah. So, no hot tub for you. Yeah. The good news is, is the hot tub needs chemicals all redone on it, so no uh, hot tub. I saw that. A little foggy and everything. Yep. I know. I'm a different person. And does it doesn't help <sighs> the dogs. Jeez, the wheeze, dogs. That, that gun all over my, all over me. Like he, I say down, he jumps up and he scratches everything. I'm like, Gunder, <laughs> stop! Yeah, he's a big 60 pound puppy right now. Aren't you? He's a big 60 pound puppy. And oh. I love him. <laughs> you say it back. Say it back. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, say it back. You get him to go excited. <laughs> Easy there. <laughs> Oh boy. What about you, Brody? Huh? You getting love still too, huh? Yeah, you still get the loves. This guy. He's getting big though. Oh, I love the puppies. He's oh, big. Yeah. yeah. I think he likes my shoes. Oh, yes. Puppy, puppy. Oh man, yes. did anybody, anybody at school say anything about your, your poison ivy? Yeah. Were they saying, oh, that's disgusting? Mm hmm. Were they? Yeah. Come on, Gander. Yeah, well, we know two your pants going on a four there, don't we? Uh huh. Yep, no matter what. So I got a two, a little bit on my neck, and a little bit on my leg, but not as bad as him. Oh, dad. Hey! Get down! Uh -huh. You stop. I still love you, though. Oh boy. He's following you. Yep, he's following me. He's not camp shy at all. He loves it. Yep. He say hi, fans. Hi, Gunder. He's giving you a view of him. Ugh. <laughs> he say hi, fans. Hi, guys. Oh, I love you. <laughs> so he's about. Boy, six months old now, probably about 60 pounds. He's a big boy. He's a big boy, huh? He likes He's a my big shoes. boy. <laughs> he He's a big shoes. boy. Ugh. Huh. That was a depressing moment. One more job, puppy. He's a big boy. He's growing pretty quick too. Oh, he can lift you. He can lift legs. Oh, he's got power. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, Brody holds his own. <laughs> Don't you, Poppy? Oh, oh, bam! You better take that outside. We don't play like that inside. Brody definitely 
has his moments where he's like, hey, this, this is my territory, get out. <laughs> we really wanted to do that big wood challenge that uh, Ridge Life had going on, but his poison ivy got in a bag patch of it somewhere. We didn't know where he got it from, so we were just staying out of the woods, so we didn't get to it. But, you know, I'm still going to do a, a little YouTube short on it, though. I might not be in the contest anymore, but at least I can uh, fulfill my my obligation of saying that I was going to do the big wood challenge. So <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Thank you.